today we are doing a waffle head doll. This is a really, really fun craft that you can do with your kids. Um, just be very careful because we do use a waffle iron. And <clears throat> this is our doll that we're going to put into the waffle iron today. She's going to make a beautiful waffle headed doll. And I have the waffle iron here on low. Ooh, yep, that's our even mom. You can see. I have it in a room setting because um, we don't want everything to come melting down way too fast. Hey, Toby. Hey, uh, Florence. How are you guys doing? So, first we have to prep our doll. I'm going to take her out of this box. Just by snipping here these um, cords. You can see here, she's attached by a few ribbons and I'm going to get her out of there. I had cabbage patch dolls when I was a kid, but um, none of them had a waffle shaped head. So uh, this would be really, really fun to try. I've been seeing people do this online. I see them do these types of crafts with like Barbie dolls and that kind of thing. And it's fun because when you do it with a Barbie, you get, um, you know, you get a Barbie that has the, the body shaped like a waffle iron. And that is really cool. But with this one, you're going to get a waffle shaped head. Now there is a step you have to do. And remember, this happens really, really fast. So if you prep everything properly, and then as soon as it goes into the waffle iron, it melts and it looks so neat. And you also, um, you also want to be sure. Oh, here we go. Okay. I was having a little bit of trouble rescuing her from the spots, but I think, I think I have her here. Okay. Let's pop her in. Should we pop her in? You guys ready? Woo! All right. So this is already warm. This is warm and, and it's ready to go. And we're going to put her in to the waffle iron, if you're just tuning in. We're putting her into the waffle iron and we are creating a waffle headed doll. So I'm going to show you here what she looks like. Now remember, as I lift her this up and get her ready, this hair is not going to melt well. We're going to want to put her, you know, right into the iron. So we need to get rid of this hair because the hair does not melt the right way, the way that you want it to. So really quickly here, let's just give her a little bit of a salon treatment here. And then we pop her in. And the, ooh, the iron's hot. Yeah, so. This is gonna happen fast, guys. Hands tight. The hair comes off fast. She's going in fast. And we wanna make sure that we get as much of that hair off as we can. Because, like I said, this hair, it doesn't melt well. And we don't want that hair in the iron. So get in there with your scissors. Give her a nice trim. And we're about to pop her in. Let's pop her in there. All right. I'm going to close this. Finish this up here. And then here we go, guys. You ready? Here we go. We're doing it. <laughs> it's going to be a perfect waffle-headed doll. All right. Who do we have here today? We have Toby Rochin, Alyssa, Chris is here, Trevor's here. All right. Here's how I throw, guys. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to lay her face down. Now, the other thing you have to be sure to do is take off any of this clothing. Like this. You don't want any of this fabric in the waffle iron. You just want the head. And let's take off the shoes here. Let's get rid of those. 
you just rub the head into the boss iron. And you can put the clothes back on after. That's the easy part. You just don't want anything in the boss iron that is going to be dangerous. All right. All right. We got most of her hair off here. And this is a hot iron. Now, when I put this in, I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat up. And when I do that, you're going to see how quickly she becomes a waffle-headed doll. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Perfect. Let's put her in. Let's get her right in there. I am ready to see this. I don't know about you guys. And that is a hot iron. If you're just joining us, we are making a waffle-headed doll. And this is a class that you can do with your kids at home. All you need is a waffle iron. And I'm using a Cabbage Patch Kit. I've seen people do this type of a craft before with Barbies and other small toys. And those look really, really cool. But what I like about the Cabbage Patch is that it becomes a waffle-headed toy. And once it's all cooled down, it looks so rad. It just looks so rad. All right, we got about 200 people watching. You guys ready? Let's make a waffle head is all. So, as I said, just be very aware of the fact that this is fabric. We're just gonna put her face into the iron. Can you guys see here? Just gonna make sure that this is right, right here in your view. Be very, very careful, because remember the hair does not melt well. So get this face down and press. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn this up just a bit. And I think, I think you're gonna be able to almost see the edges of this becoming the waffles all. Yep, we're just gonna press down, put pressure. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this all the way, all the way up. Hang on. She's melting, but she's not, she's not doing exactly what we want here. Can you guys still see here? I'm gonna put her right in there face first. We're gonna press down. And you're gonna make sure to keep that fabric out of the loft line. But get the head in there. The head is what goes in there. And then you want to apply pressure. Now with the Barbies and the other flat toys, you can see right away, like, it's easier to close the waffle iron, but they, before they melt, you don't want to push too hard because these handles here, they do tend to break. And you don't want to... Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. All right. So now she's melting, and I can apply a little bit more pressure and really get the head in there. And the more that head melts, the further in you can stick her. Yeah, this is melting really nicely. Okay. And we're being very conscientious to keep the fabric out. We're only melting the face and the head. So at first, you have to be sure not to have the head too far in. You know, you're gonna see the edge of this guy here on the waffle iron. That's the furthest in she should be. That should be flush with her neck. Okay. We have save our watching here. Karen and Fred and Courtney. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Pushing this head down, just applying a bit of pressure. And if you're just tuning in, we're making a waffle-headed doll. This is a waffle-headed doll. And as her face melts in, you can push her in a bit. 
Now we have the waffle turned up all the way, the waffle maker. We're applying as much pressure as we can, and oh yeah, okay, it's flattening. It's flattening really nicely. The goal is to have a nice, flat, doll head in the shape of the waffle iron. And then you have your waffle head as well. So now we're pushing down really far like that. Really good. I love it. Oh, it's looking really good. This is going to happen fast, you guys. Once that front part is melted and you can get the head all the way in, it happens very, very quickly. Keep an eye on the fabric. Remember, we don't want to get fabric into the waffle maker. So, make sure you have the arms back. Wow, this is going to look so cool. I cannot wait to show this to you guys. Oh my gosh. Make sure we don't unplug the waffle iron. <sighs> wow, she's looking so, so good. It's happening! Oh my gosh! Okay, her head is in there nice and flat. And now we can apply just a little bit more pressure to get that nice waffle headed shape. We have Anita here, Red is here, Betty's here. Hey guys! Looks so, so good. And if you're just joining us, we're making a waffle headed doll. This is a waffle headed doll. Yep. And we're almost completely flat here in the waffle iron. All right, you guys ready to see? I'm just about ready to show you here. Her face is flattening really, really nicely. Wow, the back of her head looks so neat. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is so neat. All right, I'm gonna push her in a little bit further. And I'm just about to lift the lid. So if you're just now tuning in, hand tight, it's about to happen. When I lift up this lid, I'm gonna show you her face. And it should be in the shape of a waffle and look really, really cool. All right, being conscientious of the fabric. Yep. Okay, now this is the point when I almost have the waffle iron closed. This is the point when you want to reduce the heat again. So I'm taking the heat back down to one. Because you see how I have the waffle maker almost completely shut? That means it's pretty much melted into the shape of a waffle, okay? But when you lift the lid, remember, it, it, it's going to be really hot. And it will keep melting. So... Put that heat back down to one. Put it back down to one so that when you lift that lid, it has solidified into the shape and it's not so melting and dripping, okay? That's really, really important. And I almost have this waffle iron completely closed. This is amazing. I can't wait to show you this. Wow, this looks so cool. So we have our, if you're just tuning in, we have a cabbage patch doll in here. We're making a waffle-headed doll in the prison art. This waffle maker, we've taken off all of the fabric clothes and we're being careful to keep the fabric out of the waffle maker. And we're gonna lift up the lid. We're gonna lift up the lid and show you. This is, an, this is insane. Oh my gosh, I, I'm gonna peek at it. I'm gonna peek at it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys. All right, I'm gonna lift the lid and show you. I want this to, I'm gonna make sure this has solidified. Yep, give it just another second. So I cut the heat, so right now it's cooling off in there just a bit. And when I open this lid, you're gonna see a waffle-headed doll. <laughs> Daryl's here, Vladis is here. My friend Mary's here, we got Ahmed here. All right, you guys ready? I'm lifting the lid, here we go. I'm gonna show you this waffle headed doll. I have the waffle iron almost completely shut at this point, and this is what you're showing for. Because remember, the head is really big. When you start, you put that head in there, the waffle iron is gonna be open. 
so it has to melt gradually and when you get it almost all the way melted you have to reduce the heat that's really really important once you reduce that heat you'll be able to take it out without fear of all the melting parts just running everywhere okay so if you're just joining us this is a waffle headed doll i'm about to show you how it looks oh my gosh i cannot wait can you guys see that she's in there she's in there we're about to take her out we have Esther, we have Fritz, we have Mars. Guys, is this something that you would try? Is this something that you would possibly enjoy doing? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna know. I'm about to lift the lid here and show you our beautiful waffle headed doll. Hang on a sec. Here we go, guys. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, she looks so good. I'm going to turn this whole thing around so you can see too. Okay, I'm turning her around. Here we go. All right, guys. I am opening up this waffle-headed doll, and you're going to see how this looks. Are you ready for this? Who's <laughs> ready? We got Turret here, we got Zuri, we have George, we have Karen, we have Charlie. This is such a fun track. So I'm about to lift the lid and show you the waffle headed doll. And I've cut all the heat down to one. So I'm about to show you as I lift up the lid. It should be almost completely solidified. I cannot wait to show you this doll. This is such a fun track. You can do it at home. And once you cut that heat, you can go ahead and put maximum pressure on it. Because remember, we want to flatten that head. And you'll see the back of the head is completely melted and there's like some hair sticking off of it. But the front and the eyes look so insane. I can't wait for you guys to see this. I cannot wait. All right, we got her in position. We got her in position, we got her ready. The lid is almost the whole way down. We've cut the heat. And I'm gonna show you my masterpiece, the waffle headed doll. I'm gonna show Amanda and Helena and Shatir and Mike. Are you guys ready? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm unplugging the waffle iron here. Heat is off entirely. Now look at this. You ready? Here we go. Now the eyes are the most important part. But look at that. Ooh! <laughs> she looks insane. All right, we're gonna gently lift her up. We're gonna make sure that the plastic isn't running everywhere, okay? So secure her hands out of the way, and I'm gonna lift her up and show you her eyes, right? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see this. Oh my God, it's insane! It's insane! Ah, it's crazy! Do you see that? Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I probably should have like pulled her face back a bit so that her eyes would be right in the center. So if I do this again or if you decide to do this, make sure you pull back on her head a little bit. I got her eyes tucked into her, her head there. So weird. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. Waffle-headed doll.